if you were going to be doing a podcast in the future and you could interview anyone in the world, who would it be? And why? Huh. Probably uh, Eminem. What's, why specifically would you interview Eminem? Well, just because he was just always, not even necessarily because of his own thinking, like he just, the way it, it timed up, he's like two years older than me. It just, like, I don't care what he is now. I know what the world was at one time and I know how on the cutting edge I was. And I could have been Eminem very easily in a sense. And I don't mean like literally like Eminem. Um, I mean, I could have been first sure. because there was a period where after Vanilla Ice, a lot of people don't remember this in the 90s, people weren't checking for white rappers. As a white rapper, you kind of wondered was was there, was there ever going to be one to get on again? And I knew I was doing the thing at a pretty high level because there were some things you had to figure out. Embrace who you really are. Be up, you know what I'm saying? Like, p- make sure that translates into your music. Whatever that story is, don't lie about where you come from and all that stuff. And be dope. And so... I knew I was like right there on the cusp, and then here comes I, one day I cut on the TVs. Hi, and I'm just like, <laughs> what in the hell? Like, yeah, I thought I saw it. I had the vision, you know. And this is the vision, you know. what I'm saying he was just—I I don't have any problem saying it. Like, he's got a lot of respect for me, and and you know, I clearly respect him. But I just like to hear his take on it on certain things, you know. That with us being on the same label, we were both on Interscope, you know. Oh, um, sure. And then Timberland, Timberland and Bubba were clearly somewhat, to, on some level, modeled after Dre and Eminem, you know. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I think <laughs> I, I, in certain some respects, failed to live up to that that level of whatever. And I, I can say for Tim that he was not Dr. Dre either, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? Sure. And I don't mean as far as the music. I mean as far as you know everything else that goes into it. And it was just meant for them. You know what I'm saying? That's the bottom line. And, man, he just killed it on such a level that I'm just still in awe of. I'm in awe of his just his talent, his ability, you know. I, I, I'm annoyed by him at this point. <laughs> I am because I don't understand why he has to still feel like he want to has a, have a rap contest on every song. And just, like, sure. just make a dope song, man. Like, you like. I sit back with this bag. It's come with a flow instead of I'm just trying to go off every time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, think about like his great songs, man. Like, because to me, his best album is the second one, Marshall Mathers LP, and then Eminem Show is next. And then that's really about it as far as what I could truly call great albums. Um, good, you know, he's always going to be Eminem and he's had great moments, but. And I, this new album, I, I really couldn't listen to it. Yeah, I mean, I tried a little bit. I think at the time when he first w- came out, what he was doing was just different than what anybody else had done up until that point. Yeah, which for was sure. What like carried so many fans and what like opened the doors for a lot of people. And the blonde hair too. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I feel like it's just kind of it's somewhat repetitive. The shock shit, it's, it's not yeah, it no more. That's man. what I mean. That's it's what I'm like, saying. Go make evolved. a song, man. You know what I'm saying? Like like just going off and just it's just not gonna do it anymore. Yeah. Man. 